All right, so this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well Libra Rising. Our weekly general tarot reading May 11th to May 17th, uh, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a uh, in a, a private reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And with that set aside, uh, let's move to the reading itself. So the first one, which stands for the topic of your week, is going to be the Eight of, uh, eight of Cups. Followed by the next one, which stands as the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic here, we do have the Justice. Followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that you will have to overcome, and that is to be the King of Wands. Followed by the next one, which represents the uh, gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week, that is to be the Page of Swords. Followed by the impression that you are leaving into the people around, that is to be the Six of Pentacles. And the last one here that we do have, it is the guidance the Tarot is offering, and that will be the Lover's card, so those, uh, those six cards. And uh, I will need a second here just uh, to systemize my thoughts. Because uh, the week may initially looks like it's disappointing, but actually it's for a, a greater good. Because uh, what happens here uh, with the first couple of cards, well, actually they could play in two major ways. So the first, it is that um, you may have not approached a task or, a, a, or an expectation from either your boss or from either, you know, your, your husband or a wife, from somebody that you really want to either impress or kind of have a tight connection with. So you, have, you wouldn't be able to meet that expectation for one or another reason. So one of the reasons, it could be because the, the expectation it is way too high for the moment, or which is most likely, it is the most likely um, development here, is that you either have not been um, aware of that expectation or you just have not prioritized that expectation in either way this uh, this week itself the energies are going to make their point to you that this expectation that either your boss or your wife or a husband your family or whatever has towards you is something mandatory and it needs to be addressed and uh, it's not too late though so uh, if you think that for example your marriage is on the rock it is because you haven't fulfilled a certain expectation and if you do want to save your marriage you can definitely you can definitely do it throughout this uh, particular week so that is what the judgment here points and it, it points that you are to have an astute discernment what is the important events or what is the important detail that you are overlooking that you are missing or that you are not addressing at that particular point which leads us to the situation itself of the eight of cups pointing that it will be quite annoying, okay, once you understand what you gotta do. It will be even irritating that somebody could be so clinched into uh, such a uh, irrelevant thing, for example. But for them, it's quite of a big deal. And uh, you should look at the situation that while right now you have to do something irritating, you know, or something annoying, etc., uh, etc., et that actually leads toward a better perspective. And the favor, if I may even address it that way, is to be returned back to you. So that is also a, a very important and valid point. But why this is happening it is the question here, right? Because whatever you are in, in, in terms of career or, or a relationship, it does need a fresh wind. And through that expectation fulfilled, it actually opens a, a brand new field of performance, if I may say it that way. Uh, that the relationship or the career development can take place because uh, I don't know if you understand that but you are test to that point how far you can go and by not attending to that expectation once again of your boss or person of interest or etc etc they're not exactly sure that you can go as far as they want you to or as far as they can go as well and uh Pretty much at the end, I can conclude that throughout this week, at the very least, you are going to find out why things are not working out where you want them to work out. Should you, however, do the necessary to fix that, 
will that falls on you and uh, why i am saying that that is uh, addressed to a, a person and not to a subject because we do have the king of wands into the challenges and this is exactly the person who does have expectations and the challenge here is that they are not willing to make a compromise you can either do it or you can't do it so that is the challenge that you uh, that you have to uh, how can i say address that thing based on their understanding based on their rules you know and and in generally on their turf if i uh, if i may say it that way uh, but the king of wands they're not uh, unreasonable they do have a, a very very big ambition and that's why the criteria or rather like the uh, the expectation is very very big as well but once you make up a bondage with this king, which is an individual, uh, it's very difficult some someone or something to break that particular bondage. Because once they uh, have you as a uh, as a, a part of their ambition, nothing can actually swipe their uh, their mind other way around. So the problem here really resides into what kind of a. Um, uh, a mindset you need to incorporate so you uh, face that criteria with uh, much ease, e e with much more ease, and uh, it, in, ge in generally it is easier for you to bear. Well, this is where the gifts and the blessings are um, coming to play, and that is another individual here. I do believe that that is a very good friend of yours, a, a supporter who basically plays the role of, you know, it's not a big deal. It tells you, you know, it's not a big deal. You just have to do it once, and after that um it won't bother you anymore and and it's worth it now that particular person here the page of wands they are capable to see the things in objective way and it's because they do have a, a very original thoughts um it's pretty much they are um very calculative and believe it or not they are capable to see the the results much clearer than you do not because they are smarter than you are but because they are not emotionally connected as you are to the situation itself and uh, it's uh, it's just an unexpected help that comes around a help and an intellectual help but help nonetheless and uh, through their uh, analysis i mean the analysis of this uh, of this individual if you do listen to their guidance and to their advice you are to find a, a very acute way to fit with uh, with the criteria uh, that will not require from you to do much in return so it's going to be a very easy transition but that is only if you once again a listen to what the page has to say once again a a good friend a faithful companion of yours has nothing to do with placing a, a strings or requirements or once again a criteria on you so how the people are gonna look at you what kind of an impression people are gonna have so we do have the impression of the six of pentacles and it's pretty easy here uh, that pretty much points that people see you as someone who needs to tackle with that alone and uh, alone physically i mean so nobody can deal with your problems instead of you but they can give you a guidance and if they can help you their help is going to just postpone the inevitable. It is the, it is how I like to say here with the Six of Pentacles in a sense of that, you know, they can prolong, for example, your loan uh, or they can prolong a misfortunate situation uh, or postpone it. But inevitably, that misfortunate situation has to be faced by you or a happy situation, in fact. So um, you know, people are uh, the, the bottom line here is that people have the impression that now it's your time to face your own uh, challenges and they should not take a part in them so if you don't ask for help help is not going to come around and that is very important here why you should cling to the to the page because probably that is the only one who will have the guts and the courage really to speak out loud uh, what is their opinion you know on the challenge that you are facing and the last card which is the guidance that is to be the lovers card um, so guidance wise, the lovers here actually urges you to take the things um, in a, a progressive manner. What I mean is that you should start from the smallest concerns whatsoever in regards to this expectation and then move your way upwards from there. So uh, starting from the small concerns, concerns moving to the bigger, the bigger, the bigger and the bigger. And then at the end, the biggest concern that fits with the um, 
with the expectation itself or with the criteria itself and also the lover urges you to despite of how irritating it could be you know when one thing is irritating you tend to lay it to to burst out or lash out if you will on the world around it will benefit you or it will serve you well if you don't do so but maintain as harmonious relationships as possible and as well whenever you got to you you have to decide something as with the lover's card ever goes don't uh, think that there is right or wrong decision even if you say that you aren't going to fulfill that criteria of this person that will not gonna be a wrong decision for its own reasons which we can't see here because this is just an, an only a weekly reading that uh, they these consequences which are to be positive consequences consequences may come further into the future don't feel yourself obliged to do it it is just if you have to fulfill or meet certain criteria, that is the week where you are doing it so so that being said this was your weekly general tarot reading libra uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and um, once again if you're interested in a personal uh, tarot reading with me uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such and uh, that being said hopefully we're going to see each other uh, around until then bye